when they said they were writing their book about Packers, they may not really have thought a whole lot about who they were writing it for. But then, when Ms. Brettinger asked who might want to read that book, you know what? I saw, I heard lots of people. So maybe as an author, when you're writing your book, it might not be a particular person that you're thinking of that you're writing the book for, but I bet you fellas are now thinking that I'm writing this book for those boys and girls that are interested in the Packers, which are probably a whole bunch, right? So it might be hard at times to think about who you're writing it for. Some of you may know, but some of it, it might be just for boys and girls that are interested in the same thing that you are. And then, you know what Mrs. Gretzinger had said? Then you know what you have to do as an author? You have to think about how are they going to be able to read my book? What are the things that I really have to pay attention to? What do you know the words on your picture? Yes, and what do you have to think about the words in the pictures? Do you know what is all about them? So you have to be thinking carefully about your pictures? And the words. And what would you have to be thinking about your words? Well, you know how to read it and for other people to know something. And what did you just uh, talk about this morning that's important to pay attention to about your words so people could read it? What are a couple things you have to really think about? You know? When you go back as, as <gasps> authors? What? To be back to it and let's write it. Oh, that is so helpful to read. Did you hear what she said? Yeah. What did she say, honey? She said just, just to make sure, just go check back to make sure that the, that you read knows the words right. And if it looks right, that is an awesome strategy look, as a writer today. Or does it look right? Does it make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. so those two things. Does it look right? Check back look right and what are you going to do if it doesn't Sound look right? right? What are you going to do honey? What's your name? Savannah. Savannah, what are you going to do if it doesn't look right? Um, you could just erase it so when a mole you could just scrub it off. Do you have a way of think, of trying out if you could that you could try writing the word and spelling it a different way? Have you ever tried that on another piece of paper? Um, um, if you accidentally make it wrong, you can you can um, you can make a new title and name it like scribble world if you accidentally scribble everything. That's another strategy. So I'm hearing um, Savannah is it? Yep. Yeah. Savannah just told us something really important. She's helping us as writers also be editors. Editors go back and look over our writing, see if we can read it, and if there's something that doesn't look right, and then to try it a different way. That's a very powerful strategy, Savannah. I hope other boys and girls this morning think about that. That would be helpful.